Hi, my name is Natasha Hudson, and today I will be talking about 2.5 assignment, the mini case study. A little background information. Parsionius is the purchasing manager for his company. His job responsibilities include buying raw materials for the manufactured products, reducing the cost of materials purchased, and producing financial forecasts per month and quarter. His inside knowledge of material costs caused Parsi to underestimate how many materials will be needed for the new line of refrigerators that launched last year. An end of the year inventory disclosed that $350,000 worth of polyurethane foam was missing. The estimated 11.22 pounds needed was projected to be lower than what was actually used. This resulted in an increase of $350,000 to cost of goods sold than previously forecasted by Parsi. The inventory transactions goes as follows. There was an increase or debit to inventory and a decrease or credit to cash for the purchase of raw materials. There also was an increase or debit to cost of goods sold and a decrease or credit to inventory for raw materials sold. And if you look below, you will see that the journal entry and the T accounts align up and they match each other. Adjusting entries. An adjustment entry is needed to explain the extra use of polyurethane. This will help to make a more accurate forecast going forward. The adjusting entry debits $350,000 to cost of goods sold and $350,000 to inventory to reflect the actual use of raw materials in production. And below again, you will see the adjusting entry in a journal and a T, T account format, and they also align. Suggestions. The adjustment between the forecasted and definite cost of goods sold would have a significant impact on the company going forward as far as hitting earning targets on time. Not to mention, with the updated financial forecast, materials and costs need to be adjusted accordingly. For future endeavors, Parsi should work more closely with the engineering team to get a more accurate calculation of materials needed. Also, I would consider looking into an alternative to polyurethane to make sure that the company is using a more cost-effective material. Thank you.